Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, just a little update on the situation here of where we are at at different Windows of uh, versions of Windows 10 and uh, talk a little bit about you know what people mostly complaining about. So it's not new. Windows 10 has always been for a certain um, part of the Windows sphere a little bit controversial in different um, ways that it does things. Um, so, you know, we are four years, more than four years into Windows 10, and the latest version that is the most popular, as we've seen today, is the May 2019 update, being at uh, right now at 56.6% of PCs running Windows 10 right now. Now, there's a lot of uh, controversy about the fact that, you know, people are kind of pushed. I mean, you're at 566 because... Microsoft is pushing everybody at that version right now, especially if you're on that um, April 2018 update. You have no choice. You are being pushed to the May 2019 update. And this is uh, something that, uh, you know, some people kind of cringe a little bit about, but uh, it's the way that things actually work. Now, if you're on the... Uh, April 2018 update, remember one thing, you are going to have one last cumulative update for security in November. And that is what is going to happen. Um, and that means if you haven't moved on, you are going to have security problems or security uh, hazards starting, you know, with December's patch Tuesday, because there will probably be some security flaws that will be not be fixed. That means if you're on the um, April 2018 update, of course you can wait, still wait till you know the next patch Tuesday. There's no uh, urgent urgency today, but think about moving on. And if that May 2019 update is not showing up, well, maybe maybe you'll have to force upgrade. It's not showing up for some reason, that's for sure. But uh, 90 plus percent of the time, it's something that is not a big problem. Uh, so it all depends on your PCs, of course, and, you know, the software you use and the drivers. You're on the October 2018 update. Uh, that's a quarter of all of you, 25%. Uh, you're okay for now. I mean, you're not going to be uh, pushed to a new version of Windows 10 until early next year because you also will be at the 18-month cycle. And that's the thing you got to remember. Windows 10 versions have an 18-month cycle for consumers so every 18 months that version of windows 10 you have expires you got to have the latest windows 10 version for it to actually continue being safe once again you know it's like windows 7 those versions that expire don't stop working what happens is they just don't get security updates and that is a problem now 56.6% of you are on the May 2019 update, and a lot of people are asking me, yeah, you know, I hear there's a lot of problems with the May 2019 update. Well, no, because look look at how fast the upgrade process is going right now. And we aren't hearing of anything unusual. So what's happening is, yeah, there were some cumulative updates that did a few little things that were kind of weird, but the May 2019 update itself, version 1903, is actually a darn good Windows 10 upgrade. It's one of the best yet. Uh, it's working well, it's been tested well, and it, it shows. And the November 2019 update coming up is going to improve upon that. So, you know, it's basically, think of the November 2019 update as a major bug fixing of the May 2019 update. I get a lot of people saying, oh, well, you know, they're doing that because the May version 1903, the May 2019 update is so buggy. It's not actually, but they are taking the time now to just, let's just upgrade the, um, you know, the version to make it even better. No major problems on that version. Um, I, there's really, really the standard background noise. You know, we'll see very often here on the channel, somebody say, well, you know, you're you're uh, not looking at things right. Look at all the people complaining on the forums. You know, Windows 10 is crap. 
It's not. It's not. You look at, you know, if, if you see that, just type Windows 7 problems and look at how much problems people are having on Windows 7. You think Windows 7 is that stable thing that's really amazing? It has the same amount of, of problems that people are complaining about. So, you know, when people say, well, you know, Windows 10, look at all the, you know, yeah, there's, we got to be careful. There's um, a side of that that is, there's Windows 10 haters out there that just don't want to upgrade, don't want to move on. And some of them are actually uh, publishing and, and pushing a lot of fake news and a lot of, of you know, negativity about Windows 10. We got to remove that, that side. It's always been like that. When Windows XP arrived, everybody on Windows 98 complained that Windows XP was crap. Why? Because there was an upgrade process that made a lot of the older stuff stop working. It was particularly uh, a particularly important upgrade when people moved to Windows XP from Windows 98. And I mean, wow, so much negativity. It was bad. Yet today we look back and people say, oh, wow, that was the best version ever. And then we have Windows 7. I remember I was a tech guy when I'm when when people move from 98 to XP and from XP to 7. I was the guy that, you know, everybody was saying, "Oh, I don't understand a thing on Windows 7. It's so bad compared to Windows XP." When well, you once again, let's just look now and you'll see everybody say, "Oh, I love Windows 7 so much." Well, same thing is happening with Windows 10. The problem it, with Windows 10 is that um compared to past Windows 7, XP, Vista, and so on. The uh, the process is a, a, a continuous upgrade process. So, of course, that means you're adding to the background noise the fact that, yeah, there's a certain number of people that are annoyed at all the updates. And I, I get it, you know, especially on the uh, feature updates for single users. Um, that background noise will s probably get um, be less of a problem, I would say, in the, in the future. And the reason why, all those 56.6% of May 2019 update, well, they're not going to be pushed to a new version unless they actually intentionally do it until late next year. So for the next year or so, we're not going to hear a lot about them. And it's going to be interesting to see those market share numbers as we move on in the next months because of that too. And the fact that I think the November 2019 update will be a pretty good update is I think going to add to the fact that the stability of Windows 10 will be pretty good. And yes, there will always be a small amount of people with problems. It's always been like that. It's not a Windows 10 thing. It's a, a, a Windows thing forever. And the people that at the basics have problems, well, you know, if, if there's 0.5%, you know, let's let's put it at a 1% rate, which is the industry rate of, of problems you know, in general is 1%. Well, 900 million PCs out there right now are on Windows 10. 1% have problems, it's 9 million people. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. And they are the ones that you hear their voice complaining but the majority of you the majority of you and I get people um, you know commenting all the time when I talk about problems about how they don't have problems well those are the people that they don't voice the I don't have any problems so of course all you see is there's problems honestly I've got Windows 10 PCs here and several of them I've upgraded to every version I've had very little problems with Windows 10 and it's extremely stable and it works great. Um, I'm on the November 2019 here. It's fantastically good. I was on the May 2019. It worked great. And all the other PCs that I have are upgraded at different, you know, uh, most of them are at the May 2019 update. They're working fine. So, you know, um, we got to be careful about what people uh, say and there are things uh, that sometimes you got to be careful about for example I've seen people and you know, tell me oh I got five PCs and they all are crappy upgrades and don't work well well 
you know what? There's one thing you got to remember. When five PCs from the same person have problems, well, my immediate thing is it isn't a Windows problem. It's you are the problem. You installed something that crapped out Windows. But you put it on, oh, it's Windows. I've seen that so many times as a tech guy. And uh, we got to be careful with the background noise. It's not a perfect operating system, but it's with the May 2019 and, and, and the upcoming November 2019 update. It's darn good and darn stable. I can say that. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.